Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We've got the Marine Platoon Pack, but this is not actually my footage. This item was scored and recorded by Bam Bam Productions, and I'm just going to be giving my initial opinions of it before I get hold of the set myself. Here it is in all its glory, the Platoon Pack from Halo Megablocks. I mean, just when you thought 2020 couldn't get any more epic, we get five Marines and a Spartan. The customization is, you know, it's pretty limited in terms of like extra things you get in this pack. It's made Mainly just the figures but I'm so excited to just see this get burst open and see what's inside I mean we've got the Spartan and four Marines two female and two male with a bunch of different skin tones the instructions who needs those and we've got one by one all these different Marines a lot of them come pre helmeted but you know you can take it off you can swap them around but then again all the shoulders and helmets and most of the chests are pretty much all just the same we've got some level of customization but nothing like the gear pack and here they are all next to each other, looking very fine indeed. We've got the orange Spartan to begin with, another Mark 7. I'm gonna do a video separately when I have all the Mark 7s from 2020 in one lineup. I mean, they're just so epic. I think Mark 7 is the perfect Spartan to resemble Halo Infinite, to bring it in like the recruit and soldier did for Halo 4. So we've got this first Marine, a bold guy, and a lot of these, I think there's only one Marine that isn't a recast mold from a different side set but they all still have like different colored arms and different colored shirts and pants so it all keeps it varied but yeah we got that guy with a white sort of shirt and then this one with a green undersuit that matches his legs which is very nice i'm also a huge fan of when they have the arms exposed i think it gives a real lifelike personality to them we'll give him the new tack pad and helmet and you just gotta look at that tack pad it's one of the most gorgeous printed details we've ever seen in mega constructs they really should be proud of themselves and it really tells a story you can see the banished on the screen of that tack pad you can see that they're sort of pinned down in the picture for the display it just tells the story of a desperate marine platoon with a spartan backing them up here is the actual new mold this female head is a really nice one it's a sort of buzz cut hairdo which i really respect for a marine and she comes with some really great armor as well they've also got nice speckling effect on the green armor that's been going way back they've always been able to do that at mega construct and then we've got this female here. It's a recast from the Marine Sniper and one in the Marine Gear Pack, but I don't mind. And she's got the OG Sputnik rocket launcher. Get her helmeted up and we'll pop a chest on this guy kit him out. The last guy as well, again, we've had this mold, but he's a different skin tone now. We've had this goatee beard, but I'm a huge fan. Give him the sniper rifle. These guys are ready to go. A battle rifle in hand for the Mark 7, and then let's switch up this camera angle and take a closer look. All right, we've got two Marines next to each other, and this is the most important thing about the Marine Platoon Pack. They changed the height of the Marines, which is just such a great thing, and it really shows that Mega Constructs is listening to us. And here it is, the Platoon Pack Marine next to a Spartan, clearly showing that if you stand the Spartan just upright, it might be at the same height, maybe a little taller. And you can see that the Gear Pack Marine is quite a bit taller than the Spartan, so they have improved it a lot. Just a quick closer look at all these different figures. I love that white undersuit. It works really well with that big tactical radio pack and that sidekick pistol. Then we've got the tack pad marine, the darker skin tone marine. You can see him compared to the marine gear pack. Yes, it is the same mold, but a totally different skin tone, so it definitely works. Bam Bam Productions having some fun putting that Marine standing on her helmet. Very nice. I don't think that's very stable to hold the rocket launcher. And then we've got this Marine again next to the Gear Pack Marine, but they've got different colored hairdos, so it works for me. Then we've got this brand new head mold. Kind of a shame that she's got a bullet hole right through her head, but you know, it does add to that accessibility of having those slot on helmets, so it's, you know, win some, you lose some. We also get the return of the mounted machine gun turret in all its glory. I used to love this uh, way back when. I mean, they've been rocking this machine gun turret for ages, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That Mark 7 just looking gorgeous. I can't wait to have a full platoon of just Mark 7s. And really, that does it for all these figures today. This was just a quick video showing you all the figurines up close, but now there's nothing better to do than display them on a diorama. Take it away, Bam Bam.